Hi, I'm James and this is The Pink Guitar Project. At the moment it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and uh, this feels like the right time to launch the raffle for our first Pink Project guitar. <laughs> the raffle next week uh, and in the meantime you're going to see some clips and I'd love it if you could share this to as many people as possible. Um, this time last year my wife was in chemo treatment, she still had surgery and radiation and still eight or nine months after that's all finished she's uh, healing and um, all I can say is at the time when she was going through that seeing anyone supporting breast cancer awareness and research as a whole um, honestly gave us a lot of strength. So that's something I want to keep passing forward to other people who are going through it. And life being what it is, uh, you never know if this is going to come back, to be honest with you. So we're trying to raise as much money as possible to help as many people who are, you know, who get breast cancer as possible. But yeah, let's have a look at what we've got. <laughs> So for our first guitar, we decided to make a Stratocaster. Um, I'm really proud of this thing, mainly because it was the first big thing we did as, you know, for the project. And uh, I actually hand made this body. Uh, took me hours of sanding and carving and all sorts. But luckily, I've got some real pros to, to help with the rest of it. This neck is made by fantastic English guitar maker, John Case, who picked a very snazzy piece of wood here. I love that headstock shape. The pick guard and the pickups all wired, made and wired together by Sunbear pickups, great friend of mine. These are some of his most popular pickups and they sound fantastic, really clear, full of life. And the paint job and relicking was done by Ashley from Time Traveler Guitars and he's really passionate about making these relics look as realistic as possible. In fact, he spoke to some people who have some original uh, guitars from the early 60s and took some pictures and actually made it look absolutely amazing. <laughs> Now, a bit of a, an extra bonus for the winner is going to be this pink protein pedal. This was actually part of a raffle earlier in the year when we gave away a Fender guitar. But the person who won that raffle doesn't use pedals and said that they'd love to pay it forward. So this is going to come together with the Pink Project guitar. Um, I use a protein personally. I specifically really love the blue side, which is like a blues breaker. And then when you want that extra grunt and grit, you've got this sort of Nobles uh, ODR1 style pedal on the right. Together they work amazingly and they work great with fuzz. They work great with other effects. So yeah, I'm really happy we've got that as well. The guitar will also come with one of these Mojo cables, which were specially made for us. It's not part of their normal lineup, um, although we were talking about it. And I know that these were really difficult to make. They're really cool, beautiful color, and they sound fantastic. <laughs>
So details about the start of the raffle and how you can buy tickets will be up over the next week or so. And the winner is gonna win that pink Project Guitar handmade, uh, hand-wired pickups, everything, you know, like a real boutique guitar. And uh, that pink protein pedal and the pink cable as well. Um, it also comes with, we're really lucky that it comes with a hard case, which was donated to us by Hiscox Cases. Uh, really thankful to them for doing that. So that means it's coming with an amazing hard case that's flight ready or whatever you need it for. So yeah, keep an eye out here. Please share this as much as possible. I would love to raise three or four grand. Our last raffle with Danish Pete raised two grand. The one before that with the Dominion Fuzz raised three grand. I'd love to be able to hit that sort of number again. Thanks for watching.